Sa wakas, alam na natin kung sino ang magharap-harap sa NCA Final Four at para dyan, makausap natin ngayong gabi ang NCA analyst na si Coach Hammer, Martin Antonio and Martin, the streak continues. 11 straight years para sa San Beda bilang number one seed sa dulo ng elimination round at sa lahat ng mga nanunod, si Martin po bahagi ng unang kupunan na nagsimula ng streak na yon nung NCAA Season 82. Tinatataba mo naman ang aking puso <laughs> sa mga prado. Ang yeah. ganda ng inilaro ng San Beda Red Lions kanina. Yeah. Towards the second half, they they defended well. They converted a lot of threes. AC Soberano had a career game in the NCAA and they, they just wanted the number one spot more and to continue that streak. At nakagulat na no, kasi itong si AC Soberano, dating volleyball player, late bloomer. Pagdating sa mm -hmm. paglalaro ng basketball, six out of nine from the field. But what about Benedict Adamo? Siyempre marami nagsabi na sa pagkawala ni Donald Tangqua, mahihirapan na ang San Beda na maibalik ang corona sa Mendiola. But even without Tangqua, Ben Adamos came in and he had a huge fourth quarter. Nasabi nga natin kanina, off true pinag-uusapan natin na uh, defense wins championships, but again, scoring defenses win championship. There was a play that Ben Adamos got a block, na convert ni AC Soberano yung tapek at fast break layup. Yung mga plays na ganun yung naibibigay niya. Donald Tanqua was lost with the ACL injury. That is very big for Coach Jamai Karin. But Ben Adamos at Diamond in the rough for them. Magandang inilalaro ngayon, controlling the paint and napakaganda pa ng outside shooting. Number one, pagdating sa Liga, ang San Beda, pagdating sa Opensa, they truly outscored Arellano in all the three meetings dito sa NCAA Season 92. Pero nabanggit mo, Martin, ang depensa ng Red Lions. At sinabi ni Giovanni Halalon na matalino talaga itong si Coach Jamai Karin. Feeling niya tuwing siya ay sumasaksak, parang tatlo ang sumasabay sa kanya. Ma uh, konti pa nga ang tatlo eh. Kanina you would see that towards the latter part of the fourth quarter, after we crossed the six-minute mark, Every time that somebody from the Arellano Chiefs penetrate, five guys packed it in. They only made three three-pointers in that game. Napakababa nun for a team who relies on dribble and dish offense, flow, getting into the driving lanes, and fabricating outside shots. Mababa ang porsyento nitong Arellano Chiefs when it comes to outside shooting. Giovanni Halalon has only had one good game against San Beda, yung kanyang first game kung saan naka-25 mm -hmm. points siya. But in the past two meetings against the Red Lions, naka-14 points oh. lamang itong si Giovanni Halalon. What happens when Giovanni has a Giovanni type of game against the Red Lions? May chance ba na magtagumpay sa unang pagkakato ng Chiefs kontra sa Red Lions this season? Pag maganda ang gising ng nagmamaneho sa bus, maganda rin ang biyahe. Yan ang makikita natin eh. Kailangan mabigyan si Gio Halalo ng pagkakataon na manduhan talaga ang atake ng Arellano Chiefs. He needs to really take the initiative of getting them to the finals. And again, we know that it's the final four. They have a twice to beat advantage now. Regardless of his performance today against the San Beda Red Lions, he needs to think first about their opponent, the Mapua Cardinals, in this upcoming week. At naniniwala rin si Robert Bollick who made some comments post-game na naniniwala siya na malaki ang chance na magkita sila muli ni Giovanni Halalon at ng Arellano Chiefs sa NCAA Finals. Kasi nga si Robert Bollick ang naging primary defender uh, ng Red Lions para kay the bus driver. Oh, hindi lang primary defender. Pagpasok ng uh, third quarter kanina, sinimula niya yun ng magagandang penetrations at dahil dun sa mga penetrations na yun, lumawag ang espasyo para sa kanilang shooters. Even Ben Adamos had a few kickouts to him. He made 18-foot jumpers on that right shorthand corner. Kaya naman, maganda ang itinatakbo nila. And Robert Bollick shut down Gio Halalon in the second half. 14, uh, four points out of his 14 lang na ipunto siya ng second half. Malaking bagay yun, Coach Hammer. At uh, nabanggit mo nga, uh, he has to focus now on the next opponent, which is, of course, Mapua. And uh, let's talk about the matchups. Uh, final four. It will be Arellano versus Mapua. San Beda, the number one ranked team, again, for the 11th straight year, mm -hmm. will be taking on Perpetual. Now, let's focus on the Arellano Mapua matchup. Arellano has defeated Mapua convincingly in both their games dito sa NCAA Season 92. Ano ang kailangan gawin ng Mapua para mas pagandahin pa ang laban? Napakaganda ng matchup natin na ito. Size versus speed. Mm. The Mapua Cardinals has the arguably the best center in the league in Allwell Oraime. Number one in rebounds, top ten in scoring, number two in blocks. The Arellano Chiefs has the bus driver who leads the who leads the league in four categories: scoring, assists, steals, and assist to turnover ratio. 
they want to be a fast-paced team. And interestingly, the Arellano Chiefs is the number one team when it comes to inside scoring. Mm -hmm. And it would be a challenge for them. And CJ is it then. Considered arguably the second best point guard in the NCAA now, he has something to prove. Nung huli silang nakita, napakaganda. Career game ang inilaro ni CJ Isit. Ngayon, titignan natin kung ma-equalize ba niya o maidadagdag pa ang kanyang performance para maipanalo ang Mapua Cardinals over this uh, Arellano, uh, very strong Arellano team. Ngayon, Coach Hammer, gusto ko pag-usapan yung nangyari sa dulo mm -hmm. ng huling laban ng Mapua, which was against Perpetual, kung saan nakita nga pinagalitan ni Coach Atoy ko itong si Joseph Eriobu na umiyak while playing defense. <coughs> How will this affect the Cardinals and, and their mindset? Pati na rin si... Shane Menina, um, pinagalitan rin ni assistant coach Ed Cordero. How, how will this affect uh, their confidence coming into their match in the Final Four contra sa Arellano? Now, we're talking about the big boys. This is the NCAA, this is college basketball, this is for all the glitz and glamour. Whatever your coach says, you take it like a grain of salt. Next play. You focus on the next play, that's what they would do. Joseph Eriobu is on his last year. He knows the ups and downs of college basketball. He is a big boy. I played with this guy. He would be tough enough and he would perform the, the following game. Shane Minina, lalaro yan. Galing Cebu, matapang na bata. Whatever the coaches say, player guy, you need to have thick skin. When it comes to this matchup, they really need these guys to step up. They have two main guys and Anandoy Estrella comes and goes from time to time, but they, they need to win it by comedy. And it won't be another dominating performance para sa Arellano. Do you have a prediction? Well, I like Arellano. They, they are the second best defensive team. They were exposed a little bit kanina by the San Beda Red Lions when, they, when the Red Lions started packing the paint. They challenged the outside shooters. They removed the penetration from the Chiefs. And uh, let's see if that's what they're going to do with the Mapua to negate the speed and the other advantages when it comes to quickness and inside scoring ng Arellano Chiefs. Now, uh, coming into the other series, uh, meron ding uh, lumabas na balita na nagkagulo sa practice ng Perpetual. There's some trouble br brewing in the camp of the Altas kasi uh, nagkaroon ng problema si Nick Omorogbe at si Bright Aqueti na sinuspinde sa kanilang huling laban kontra sa Mapua. Now, how is that going to affect the Altas coming into their match against a very confident San Beda side na hindi okay si Bright Aqueti ang kanilang best player at ang kanilang coach na si Nick Omorogbe. You want aggression for your team and it should be exuded by your leaders. With this coach uh, Nick Omorogbe, Bright Aqueti, you put two competitive men in a cage, they would try to kill each other. I've seen it through my experience. You put 15 hyper-competitive guys, fights would break out. But at the end of the day, they're trying to win a war. They would meet their minds. Nakita natin sa mga posts nila during our Instagram takeover na talagang they are on one page. At nandun si Bright oh, sa pep rally kanina. Nandun si Bright. And uh, I like this matchup. Offense and defense. The uh, perpetual help Altas are the best, is the best defensive team. They rotate splendidly. I can't, I can't say enough because they reflect what we did during my championship years with San Beda, when, the, when this 11-year streak started, we were the best defensive team, we were the best rebounding team, and we shut down people. That's what they do. Medyo na skewer yung numbers dahil they were beating other teams by a mile, but when you go with the San Beda Red Lions, man, they outscore people at a blistering pace. The way the game started kanina, it was a, high, a very high-scoring game, and they are number one in point differential, almost nine a game. Aantabayanan natin yan, and the starters are really scoring a lot. And the specialty naman ng Perpetual Help Altas is shutting down the starters of the other team. That's very important. Who would dictate the pace? So, kung Arellano ang pick mo sa kabilang series, dito naman sa sharing ito, oh, wow. San Perpetual, sino <laughs> wow. pipiliin mo? May prediction ka ba? Well, to be honest, I like the Perpetual Help Altas. Uh, for, for the majority of the season, they were the team to beat. The San Beda Red Lions are up there, but you would always ask, who would they go to when it comes to the end game? Would they go to Devon Potts? Would they go to Isi Soberano? Would they go to Robert Bollick, which happened kanina? Uh, Robert Bollick created a lot of shots for them, created a lot of opportunities in the fourth quarter. And uh, I like the perpetual help Alta. Eh. Coming from wow. Abedan, it's, wow. it's, it's my pick. I, I really like defensive teams. It's a personal pick for me. They cater to my taste more. I want low scoring bump and grind. Detroit Pistons type basketball. Mm. 
Wow, so you heard it here first on the score. Mm -hmm. Ang uh, picks ni Coach Hammer para sa finals. I, I pick it with my mind, not my heart. Okay. Oh, Pep Will Arellano final. Yes, and it, it would be very good for the mm. Liga. You've seen, you've seen San Beda dominate for for a decade. They built a dynasty there. They, they are the gold standard for the NCAA right now. But I think it's high time for for us to see other schools um, really shine. And uh, I think it's Arellano's year this year. But I want the Altas to be there. But if if San Beda wins, it's good for me. My heart will be <laughs> jumping with joy. Well, let's see what happens. No, uh, definitely, Bernes. definitely. Uh, Bernes. Final four. Oh, we'll see the final four. Unang laro natin makikita natin ang San Beda kalaban ng Perpetual Help Altas. And the uh, second game, ang Mapuwa nga against the AU Chiefs. So, abangan natin yan. Martin, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Anton. For more sports updates, keep watching The Score. And don't forget to subscribe.